I'm standing here in the middle of two different porcine clover varieties and uh, from a distance hard to tell if they're even the same species because these two varieties are very different. Um, got frosty porcine clover here, Apolady porcine clover over here and you can tell they're just completely different plants. Um, Lady is more of a one cut type plant. It's grown as a, a quick growing annual forage crop. Um, the Bersim clover, more of a multi cut type product. You can see it doesn't get quite as erect, quite as tall as, as the blady does, but it will regrow better after cutting or haying. And so this is a multi-cut, this is a single cut. Where almost all of our Bersim clover goes is as a, uh, a substitute for alfalfa in alfalfa fields that have experienced either waterlogging or winter kill. From a distance, I mean, these plants look like alfalfa. It's very hard to tell, not in, just really close up, that these are not alfalfa plants. They look like alfalfa in the field. They're nutritionally equal to alfalfa on a forage test. They even look like alfalfa after they dry out in the bale. But as opposed to alfalfa, these two clovers are very tolerant of waterlogged soils. So if you have drown out spots in your alfalfa, you have some, some winter kill in your alfalfa, you want to basically get one more year out of the stand, you can seed one of these two varieties depending on how many cuttings you're, you're wanting to get out of your stand. If you're only want to, wanting to get one cutting, maybe the Blady is a little better. If you're wanting to get multiple cuttings yet, the Frosty is probably a better product. Um, and both, I, as you can tell, very different plants. Uh, but this one comes on a little quicker. This one is a stronger finisher. Um, one of these two is probably going to fill your needs. And uh, rather than just put up with a really poor alfalfa stand, then that last year before you decide to terminate it, you can fill in, get some additional growth out of a Bersine clover.